Hello and welcome to Gaurav's Arena. This is Gaurav Chodnekar and today in this video tutorial we will learn how to install the Visual Studio 2017 Enterprise Edition. I will be showing you the Enterprise Edition but the process is similar for the other versions also. So I have already downloaded I already downloaded the Visual Studio 2017 so here you can see it it is approximately to be sure it's 20.8 gb actually but uh, it is an offline installer i found a file this in the offline mode so it's it took a uh, too long to download for me if you are using an online installer that is you just get a 4 mb setup file and then all these files are downloaded on each machine then be prepared to spend at least one or two days for this setup to download and install so i have spent approximately eight hours to download this 20 gb file on my 8 mbps speed okay so now let us move ahead I will just show you the file size so here is the folder that we'll be using and see here it is it's 23.8 GB actually I downloaded this zip file which was around which was around 20.8 GB so I said 20.8 but it's actually 23.8 after extraction so here you can at the bottom you can see that it has 3846 items so that's worth 23.8 gb okay so here you can find the file name as mu visual studio the name might differ but apart from that here you can find another file name as vs installer but it is actually a microsoft cleanup wizard file so don't run that run this one the file with the type application here it is so now let us start installing so it will ask for your permission so granted then it will start the installation now all we have to see that what has the microsoft bought for us in the new visual studio enterprise 2017 so basically the i as far as i know there you have the python development and xamarin uh, i guess something linux application development has also been added in the new visual studio but now let us see what we can get apart from that we have azure then c sharp c plus plus visual c plus plus javascript and sql so now let us wait for it to start so that we can enjoy the installation video so basically the older visual studio versions were vb6 then vb2008 then 10 12 14 15 and i guess now 17 so a rc version was also released some weeks before but i wasn't able to make the video as i the rc version might get changed so i avoided making its video so now let us have a look at this 2017 enterprise edition also the file which i have downloaded is compatible with both 32 bit and the 64 bit you can find it all here so i'm extremely sorry to say but actually i have downloaded it in from the torrent as official microsoft says that you have to buy it and only a free version is available So let us start with the installation. So here it is. Now you have three categories for Windows, five for web and cloud, then five for gaming. Okay, I forgot to say that um, the Unity game development has also been available with the Microsoft Visual Studio recently. And then there are other tool sets that is the C Linux with C++. Okay, now it is giving me an error saying that Visual Studio cannot be installed to a non-empty directory. Okay, now let us see whether my directory is empty or not. Okay, C program files x86. Now here I am. Then Visual Studio. Okay, not this one. Okay, but the enterprise directories 
empty and let us try deleting the entire enterprise now again create a new folder name it as the same enterprise here yeah, and click on select folder okay the error has gone now it is computing the installation size okay, it was not an error actually it was the misconception of the installer now let us see what we need we need the universal windows platform development 10.net desktop development i don't need c++ i need asp and web development i need data storage and processing then i don't need azure i need mobile development with dotnet game development with unity then mobile development with javascript should i or should i not okay i don't need it as of now and then okay i need this one and I need this one. I don't need the Linux, then mobile development with C or JavaScript. I don't need Azure, Node.js, and nothing. So, even though after selecting a very limited parts, it says me that your install size is 44.73 GB. Now, let us go and verify at least we have this such. So, here is my C drive. I have I'm having 52.6 GB out of the 200 GB allocated. Okay, my machine is just a 500 GB hard disk, but it, okay, it's good to go. I can install it there and then I can adjust it. Okay, to be specific, if you required some other things, then you have it here. You can just expand it and see what they have got under the summary. So you got IntelliTrace. If you need Windows 10 SDK, then you can opt for that again the install size will increase so it's gone to 45 gb okay no issue i'm just checking if i require anything extra for the same okay right now i don't think i am going to require anything i have got all i require Mm, okay that's it and now we are going to click on install so the installation will start so this is the installation window what is installed what is available then your community 2017 rc professional 2017 rc okay what's okay it's rc version that was released okay for free and then these are the paid versions okay so now we will be installing the studio 2017 so let's see it in a time lapse.
so the installation of visual studio has completed and now it is showing that visual studio 2017 enterprise edition and there are two buttons that says modify and launch respectively then you can add more options using the modify button and you can directly launch the application using the launch button so if you are using a desktop i would suggest you to modify the application i mean that you install a few parts then again modify it then again install another part then again modify and so on until you are satisfied with your complete visual studio enterprise options okay but the why i am saying this is because if you are having a desktop and if suddenly there is a power cut or something then your visual studio might not get installed and downloading a 23.8 gb setup over the internet it's too much for this okay and if you are having a laptop and a good internet connection then you can directly install whatever you want and just click launch if you are having an offline setup like i am having then it's one of the best thing that you can do so i have already installed all my required components and i click done launch i could not record it due to a technical glitch but then it will ask you to sign in if you have a microsoft account give them your id password then it will you will be able to sign in after sign in then again it will ask you to get the settings such as for what you will be using the visual studio for for visual basic visual c sharp visual c plus plus web development web development code only or general so i have chosen general as i would be showing videos in all of the languages available all of the developments available only for you so i have chosen the general you might choose it according to you and then they will ask you to choose a theme which might be blue dark and light i have chosen a dark theme which looks something like this so my visual studio has started and this is my dark theme you might go for a white white is simply the replica of the dark theme you will get all in the white and the blue is a light tinge blue and dark blue color scheme so here is my fully installed and functional microsoft visual studio so i hope you like the video and this video demonstrates all about it thank you for watching my video see you soon in next videos